All right, here's a quick guide on how to patch, in this case it's Banjo-Kazooie Rando, the alpha version, but this will work for pretty much any ROM hack as far as I'm aware on the N64. So what you want to do, you need a .z64 ROM. can't be N64 or V64. Uh, and usually when you download a ROM, it comes in a zip. Uh, so you want to unzip it. This one's .n64, so we're gonna have to change it. So what you do to change it is go to this website. It's a swapper, converts to .z64. You have to use this. You can't just like rename the file extension. That won't work. So just drag it in there, and the .z64 will pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in patching. Uh, and now what we want to do is patch the file. So we need to choose a ROM. So we're going to choose the .z64, that's the ROM. Uh, this is the website, by the way. These will be in the description. And then choose the patch. So this is the .xdelta. This is just the patch that you'll get from wherever. So in this case, it's from a Discord server that has the xdelta uh, that you can download. So open that in patch, and then save as. You can, sh you can write whatever you want here. Uh, just make sure the file extension is .z64, press patch, and there it is. So this is the randomizer. This is your patched file. I'm going to put this in ROMs, open up Project 64. Now, if you, uh, if you don't want to run it on Project 64, you have an EverDrive or something, then you can just put this, or... No, it's in here. You can put this on the EverDrive and it'll work as, as long as the ROM hack is compatible with EverDrives. I know some of them might not be. But if you want to play on Project 64, first of all, choose a ROM directory and uh, let's see. Desktop ROMs. So that'll make the ROM show up here. It might say bad ROM because it recognizes that this isn't like a Nintendo ROM, that's fine. Okay, I forgot for a second, but you need to go to settings first and disable hide advanced settings. You wanna see all the advanced settings and then uh, right or left click it, edit game settings, change memory size from four to eight, go to recompiler, change from recompiler to interpreter. These aren't, uh, well, okay, the 4 to 8, that should be for every single ROM hack. Like, most of them will need the expansion pack, which is the 8 megabytes. The recompiler is a little bit weird. Uh, it might work on recompiler, but for Rando specifically, you have to change it to interpreter. So then you can apply and double-click the ROM, and it should work.